All right, everyone, it is uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, it's Thursday, July the 13th, 2023. Uh, it's Hemishillen Township Board of Trustees. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen, Lord. <coughs> Sure, I want to welcome you out tonight. My name is George Kiko, Jennifer Leone, trustee. I'm the acting president, and Don Keith is trustee. Rich Peterson is on uh, heading to Texas, so he's off this evening. Jamie May, road superintendent, is with us this evening. Zoning inspector Jeff Chipman and our fiscal officer Todd Bosley. We appreciate everybody coming out. We'll get it right into the fire, Jen. If you want to, sure. I make a motion uh, to approve a resolution to approve the June 2023 fire report with 108 emergency incidents for the month. Second. Motion to second voting, please. Lord. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Okay. Uh, on to the road. Number one, a resolution to accept the July 13th, 2023 road report. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, motion to second. Voting, please. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Okay. Uh, fiscal Officer Todd. Okay. Number two. Approve the minutes for the June 22nd, 2023 trustees meeting. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Number three. Approve the minutes for the June 28th, 2023 trustees special meeting. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting, please. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Number four, approve refund to resident for overpayment on charges with Ohio billing in the amount of $346.65. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting? George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. Number five, approve payment to Ohio billing for June fees in the amount of $2,160. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting? George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. Number six, approved payment to Louisville Area Chamber of Commerce for the 2023 membership renewal in the amount of $165. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting? George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. Okay, number seven, seven, to proceed with the renewal of the five mil five year fire levy for the proposal set forth in and pursuant to section 5705.19I of the Ohio Revised Code and the estimated amount of income is $1,014,000. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting, please. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Number eight, to proceed with the renewal of the one mill five-year road levy for the purposes set forth in and pursuant to section 5705.19I of the revised code, the estimated income from that levy will be $202,700. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting? George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to send these down if you could sign them and then I'll leave these back. Okay. Okay, we have concerns of the citizens. If you would come up, state your name. We do have a five limit clock for you. First up, we have uh, Anthony Denigris. That is correct. All right. Come on up. Good evening, everyone. Very good. Naturally, uh, if you look at my address, you'll notice that I'm not from here presently. I came from North Carolina to come up here and talk to you folks. And you'll understand why I'm here in a moment. I want to give you some background. Now, I go by Tony. Everybody calls me Tony Denigris. Um, I was from Connecticut originally, moved to Florida. Florida, I was a certified general contractor and moved to North Carolina been in business all my life. And now I am considering, and have been considering for about a year and a half since I started coming up here on and off, uh, opportunity that it, presents itself to me. To me. Um, I met Todd Bosley about a year and a half ago, and that's how he started to be aware of the nice community that you folks have. Uh, I'm in the sporting collectible business now. Todd bought a collection for me, and, and that's how we became mm -hmm. friends, and how I happen to be up here 
uh, and now I'm up here looking for somewhere to settle and use the opportunity to create a business. Um, there's been a number of posts that I had put on the town website or the Nimishillen site that Dawn uh, sponsors. And the, uh, the times that I was posting, I haven't done it for quite a bit, but during those times that I was posting, there, there seemed to be a lot of uh, criticism as well as a, a lot of positive following. Some character went through the trouble of creating a fictitious name on Facebook, on Facebook and uh, switching my first initial, the first letter of my last name with the first letter of my first name, and that's the sign and name that that person used. It wasn't funny to some people, and then uh, I guess uh, Don removed him. It was obviously an effort to discredit me. Since that time, and pr so, I'm sorry, prior to that time, for a few months, I've been watching the meetings that Todd graciously provides on the internet. And in so doing, I find myself now thinking that even to the casual observer, that one would wonder where your interests lie. Because I don't believe they lie with the township residents. I've watched many nice people come up and present their issues to you guys. And all I saw was frowns, a little bit of laughing occasionally, which means making fun of. And that's what I came to speak about, because it affects me. Now, I happen to be an eBay seller as well with the sports business that I'm in. And I became aware not too long ago that uh, a new law that was, well, I don't know the date of it, but there is a law now that prohibits any normal person that, that sells on eBay um, from exceeding $10,000 unless you have an auction license. That got passed. Now, I want to ask you, George, Mr. Kiko, does Bob Young still work for you? Is he working for you? He worked for, uh, yes, he works for Kiko. Are you aware of the situation that's yeah. presently going on with Bob? Yeah. Now, for those of you that don't know, Bob was just recently asked to step down by one of his associates in the state legislature due to an incident that took place just recently where uh, we're talking about domestic violence and a felony and um, he was arrested. Two individuals within his family were, uh, were uh, part of that situation. Uh, he hit a woman. He took her cell phone, threw it in a, in a pool. And then he also uh, assaulted a, a younger man. I don't know the names of those or what the relationships were, but uh, that is a felony. And what strikes me strange about all of this, I know the clock is running down, is that Bob was in the auction business at one time, and I presume he's still in the auction business, because he had a facility north of here, 35, 40 miles north of here, which you took over prior to him presenting in the state legislature the, I the need bill, bill. Yeah. the I bill need that was in yeah, not for mine. So he doesn't uh, own the, uh, the, the he doesn't own hey, this is too much. Yeah. that facility at the time he, he presented <laughs> the legislature with the bill, he gets passed and now conveniently he owns it again. Push and hold. That seems oh, to me works. like a purposeful act to make sure there was no conflict of interest. And then because of the ability passed, nobody in, in, in Ohio, the whole state of Ohio, can sell on eBay unless they unless they only make under ten thousand in one year. That affects me. That makes me a little concerned about what my plan was to come up here. Okay, well, thank you for right. coming here. Thanks, Times Limit. I understand. And you, can, and you can go talk to the Senate, the state. The, that, has, that has nothing to do with Nimishillen Township, and as far as. Uh, well, I beg to differ with you, George, and I'll tell you why. There's, well, I appreciate it. You're welcome to come back. We have a five. Tony, time's up. Back together. Thank you.
Appreciate well, we, we thought this may happen. Thanks, All right. Rules are a rule, uh, my friend. We thought this may happen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Next up to speak. And it may not be town business on, of, as to the events that took place in the state legislature. Or Anthony, the and so we appreciate you coming in. We have a credibility. Five we have a factual ornament. Credibility, George. Thank Anthony, you for, for coming in. in. Well, I appreciate you coming yeah, in. Thank you for your credibility. You're in the right time, yes, sir. We are talking about a domestic situation. They must be. They get up with a lawyer, sir, yeah, right. or a state right. representative. You are nobody on that board. Do not address me. Would you like me to Would you like to call the sheriff and have the officers out? You're in, I'll sit down for now, but yeah, please, can do I you. Sure you. No. please sit down. Thank you. All the people I've been talking to. Okay, talking I'm calling the sheriff. Tell the sheriff. Tell the sheriff. All right, Ronald Sarnsberry. We should temporarily turn until the sheriff's council. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? Okay. I'm going to say the truth, Brent. Ronald Sarnsberry. You're up. You know me. Hello. Uh, I don't take much time. I just want to remind people to get out and vote against the school levy uh, please, please. till they learn how to manage their money. They're willing to give something back to help their self. Till then, I'll never vote for another school levy. Once again, I say the kids only suffer when they want money. That's all I have to say. I will never vote for a school levy till they change the way they do business. They collect and collect and collect during a the strike. They never get nothing back when they have money problems. And that's my problem with them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Donna Fuller. Um, I would just like to say that I attended the school board meeting, and when I was there, I asked the question why they didn't sell the property. And, and I thought maybe showing people would like to know this to sell the property out at Pleasant Grove. Out at Pleasant Grove. Why they didn't sell that property out there? I know we did it on the phone before, but that's a beep. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, my question was whenever, not too many years back, I was approached. By someone, and they told me that I should go to the school, and the reason being, I should have money if I sell my car and if I get rid of my internet. That's why I asked that question. If I'm asked to do this, I felt like I had the right to ask them to sell the property so that they have extra money. Well, in the paper, here's what they told me. They said that the property out there would only give them a couple hundred thousand dollars. That would do a lot for the school. I don't have that. I'd like to have something that I could sell for a couple hundred thousand dollars so I could pay maybe in advance my taxes. And the reason I bring this up, I said, my personal opinion is, I don't think it was fair for anybody to ask me to do this. So I think whenever we're out there talking to the school, we should be careful how we talk to people, out of respect. I wasn't going to sell my car on the internet for nobody. I need a car to go. Uh, grocery shop and doctor's offices and things like that. And I think it's very disrespectful for anybody to do so. And that's why it made me ask the question. But they're not going to sell it, people. They're going to save it in case they need to go to another school. I did a lot of thinking and a lot of uh, research on this. Another thing that I'd like to bring up to the board in, in a respectful way we're going to be voting soon. My father, my grandfather, my brothers, my husband went to the service to protect our country. And I hope that people will vote and go out and vote out of respect for your father, your grandfather, your family members that went out and went in the service to do that for us to go out and vote because they were protecting our rights to vote. What I see right now 
is a lot of people want to go out there, get a job in the political scene, and they want to have a lot of control on how we vote. Well, I think we're going to be voting for a new trustee, new fiscal officer, if that happens. My personal feelings is everybody should take in consideration. When voting, stop and think of their interest in running for a trustee, for fiscal officer. Think of their education. Think of what they have to bring to us and why they're doing it. Educate yourself. That's what I do. I've been coming here 20 years, respectfully, bringing up things to let the people know in Nima Schillen, I care, and it is important, very important for them to do the homework <coughs> before they push a button to vote for anything. And I would appreciate if they would do so. It's very important in this world today. There's a special election on August. August the 8th. Yes. Go out and vote. Do your homework. Yeah. I already have. Thank you, Donna. And as me not serving in the service, I will tell you, I respected my brothers, my father, my grandfather, my husband, and I'm going to do my homework on voting for who, what, or anything that happens that's going to affect this old girl because I'm not going anywhere and I want to be able to stand up and make a good decision when I vote. And that's what I want everybody in Nima Schillen to do. Whether it be school, like the library. Do you remember all in the newspapers? I still have them. No new library. Well, guess what people, you're wrong. The thing is when you're voting for anything, who do you believe? What can we believe now? My feelings are, I am very, very concerned that we need to be better voters and educated for who or what we're voting for. But go out August the 8th and please vote. It's important. Your vote does count. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. All right, on to zoning, uh, Jeff. Uh, number nine resolution and set the July 13th, 2023 zoning report. Motion to approve. Second. So a motion to second voting. George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don. Yeah, and then the uh, number 10 resolution and set the June 2023 market audit report. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second voting. George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. And then a uh, resolution to declare 4288 Broadway Avenue a nuisance and abate the property for 505.87. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting, please. George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. <laughs> and 12, declare 18 <clears throat> Hebron Avenue a nuisance and abate the property for uh, ORC 505.87. Motion to approve. Second. A motion to second. Voting, please. George? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Don? Yes. And 13, declare 3035 Pinevale Avenue a nuisance and abate uh, using ORC 505.7. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second voting. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. And 14, declare 3881 Violent Street uh, nuisance abate the property using ORC 505.87. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second voting. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Don. Yes. And in a discussion, I got 8717 Paris Avenue, Louisville, Ohio. I was going to hand it over to the prosecutor to take my view of this, so what I want to do tonight, this is everything. All the way up to getting the bid sheets and we stop. What I'd like to do is hand this over to Mr. Jim Matthew. I say, look this over. See what you have? Yeah. And see if it's clean. And then we like to proceed. Proceed. Finish that up. Is this a demo? Yes. Yeah. Demo, yeah. yeah. Hey, I can say one thing about this property stuff. We need to make sure that the school cuts that elementary school blocks that are letting it grow up. Which which one is it? On on Main Street there, the old elementary school. Fair Hope. L.A. Oh, Fair Hope. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's it's not the school that owns it. Okay, well whoever does, yeah. you yeah. cut. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, they fixed it. We have two calls that have big fields now. Dang. And that's under the FMRC. Okay. Right? Okay. So we're taking care of that. It's an acreage. Yeah, and I talked to the owner of it and uh, probably is going to get more for your time this year, which is more than what's required. <coughs> okay. okay. And you saw the email that sent you the yes. text? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so you saw Addison. So we really need to think about that one. Somebody actually called about purchasing the property sites. Let's get cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, the health department's been out there and nobody's contacted back. Okay. We have a little issue with that. And then I think, um, what was the other one I sent you? That was by one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. By one. Well, the by one would be a nice ending of the year. Yeah. You know, that one's on here. A lot of stuff there, though. <clears throat> We can use Mr. Jim Rath. Pinedale. Pinedale's on here too, right? Yeah. 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 But that is the photo. Picture, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Thank you, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, renewal of the uh, Otarma Insurance effective July 15, 2023. We did receive that from Andy. Um, and the email went to everybody through. Uh, let's, let me get this through the effective date. Let's start to set this. 15th of this month. Right. He said if we don't get it passed tonight. Well we should pass it. Yeah. We don't want to mess with it. Yeah, it should be it should be good to yeah, go. I, the I, new I, price it's a, it's a probably approximately a 10% increase, but we got some new equipment. We did. We got a new, some uh, good stuff. Yeah, real good stuff for the fire, for the road. So right. we're looking at the at $49,803 for the 23-24 anniversary mm -hmm. contribution. I make a motion to renew the Otarma insurance effective July 15, 2023 for the amount of 49803 Yes. I need a second, please. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting? George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. And Don. Yes. Uh, and then I received, we received an email for our medical insurance um, that came through the rates for 2023-24. Uh, for medical family with increase monthly by $170, so it's $2,308.95. Uh, for a single person, uh, monthly would be $950.48, that increase $70 per month. Um, also, the dental rates uh, increase just a little. Family is $243 a month, an increase of $13, and the single member increase of just $5, for up to about $98. Vision moved very, very slightly. Family is $50 and 19 cents a month. It went up $1 and 22 cents. And then for a single individual, it went up 49 cents a month to $20 and 21 cents. Um, our contract with the uh, union is 95% for the township and 5% for the employees. And then of course, Vision and Dad will be paying 100% of that. But I just wanted everyone to make that known. Yeah, we'll make a motion to approve those rates then. Go ahead and make a motion. Yep. Yeah, make a motion as presented. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting, please. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. And Don. Yes. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion to second. Voting, please. George. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. And Don. Yes. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming in.